Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be looking at the very best build for all 49 Brawlers inside of the game right now. So just before we get into today's video, make sure you're using the credit code in the shop. It'll be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump straight into it. All right, guys, to so start off with the first Brawler, I feel like this is an easy choice for this one, just like last time. It is Shelly's. So Shelly's best build. It, no, it's not going to be Band-Aid and Clay Pigeons, unfortunately, although it is really good with PSG Shelly. Uh, it's going to be the fast forward gadget and shell shock. That's just going to be by far the best build for her. So next up is Nita. So again, a really fairly simple one with her. Every single game mode except for heist, you want to be using the bear with me star power with a fox for gadget. It's just such a good build. And then for heist, you want to be obviously using a hyper bear, but still with the shield gadget. Just hyper bear on a save. You guys know how it is. Just destroys it. But everywhere else, you want to be using that first build. Okay, so now moving on to Cole. Nothing's really changed in the last few months with in regards to his build. So uh, the best star power can be personal preference, but I think 90% of pros still use the Magnum special star power for that extra range. Uh, but Sleep Boost still decent star power because it can help you maneuver around the map much quicker. In terms of gadget, I think Silver Bullet's the best gadget for Colt by far because uh, opening up the walls is just going to suit Colt much better. And that's the main reason why he's even a meta, to open up those walls and make it better for your teammates. Okay, so next up we have Bull and his build has changed a little bit from last time since the change uh, with the tanks. Getting your super from... Uh, uh, incoming damage means that ball gets his super a lot more so i would say that uh 95 of pros uh, will be using the stomper gadget it just really uh, helps ball confirm those kills especially with a slowdown as well and as i said you're gonna be getting super a lot of the time so ball's gonna be a force to be reckoned with with that stomper gadget and then star power as well i'd say 95 percent of the time that people use tough guy it's just so good in being able to stay alive you know the odd time you might get value out berserker on heist but i still prefer this build over any of them okay so now moving on to jesse a really easy choice again energized star power and the spark plug gadget i don't think that's really gonna ever change with jesse i feel like the spark plug gadget one of the best gadgets in the game allows you to confirm kills so often uh, i feel like the only change you can really make with this build is when you're playing heist and you can maybe use the real cool recall spring gadget other than that it's going to be by far the best build okay so now moving into brock so brock for me the only gadget you can use for him is going to be rocket fuel it is by far the best gadget it allows you to break open the map and also confirm so many kills a lot of time you can just one tap someone and press that green button it's just such a good gadget in terms of star power i would say that nine times out of ten people will use incendiary uh, just because it allows you to block off certain choke points and just allows you uh well it allows you to get control a lot easier but fourth rocket is still a decent choice as well i see a lot of pro players using that as well next up we have a dynamite i feel like in terms of gadgets it's such an easy choice the stun gadget is going to be by far the better option a lot of times you could just confirm the kill with this gadget but in terms of star power of course it's going to cause a little bit of drama in the comment section because a lot of people love it down and jump it's still a decent style power but i feel like demolition is by far the best style power for me uh, just allowing you to one shot so many different brawlers dynamite is actually secretly becoming a little bit of an off meta pick in competitive a lot of teams are actually trying to trying him in scrims and competitions and he's actually fairly decent and that demolition star power is the main reason why it can one shot enemy throwers as well and yeah i just think that's the best star power so next up is bow i feel like this is just an easy one to understand as well so it's really uh up to what map you really play on snake prairie of course you're going to be using uh the vision star power so you obviously can see it through the bushes other than that i think the stun uh star power is going to be by far uh, the better option because you're going to be able to confirm kills a lot easier with that in terms of gadgets i think uh nine times out of ten again you want to be using the totem gadget uh because now there's actually a change where you literally need to just stand there for 20 seconds you're going to get your super fully as for like it offers a lot more value and probably the main reason why people even pick bow in the first place so up next is a tick and i feel like this is the build that uh 99 out of 100 people use in terms of competitive so it's going to be the well-oiled star power and the last hurrah gadget so well oil just allows you to heal up that much quicker a lot of times you can just tank enemy ticks uh shots and just push up the map and obviously heal up at the same time i think this is a really crucial part about how you play tick especially in competitive uh, the last hurrah gadget is still going to be the better gadget you know you've got a knockback uh you're actually invulnerable to 50 percent of the damage as well and a lot of times you can just tank the enemy uh tick heads as well it's crucial in those 1v1 in 
interaction. So I think this is by far the best build for Tick. Okay, so now moving on to 8-bit. In terms of star powers, you want to be using the plugged in star power for the majority of the part. I am actually seeing a few people use the boosted booster star power if paired with like a Byron. It's quite interesting. I've seen that strategy used a few times in competitive and it honestly works a few times. So maybe this might become meta. I'm not too sure. But for now, uh, plugged in is going to be the uh, better star power. In terms of gadgets, I would say every single time you'll be using a cheat cartridge a gadget it allows you to survive so many clutch situations go back to your turret and heal up the other one for me just doesn't offer the most value okay so next up we have ems in terms of a gadget she's only got one a gadget both star powers are actually really viable for ems i would say that most pro players do use the hype star power it just allows you to be a lot more aggressive and especially if you catch multiple people in that super you can heal up and just be a lot more tanky and a lot more harder to take down and that's probably the key part about me I would say uh, to use the hype star power, uh, but of course you can find the value out of both. Okay, so now I'm moving on to Stu. I feel like this build is quite plain and simple. You guys probably know by now uh, that the best gadget and the best star power in the game are with Stu. So the breakthrough gadget is absolutely insane. You get a free super, you get a free wall break, and the wall break deals a damage as well. It is crazy OP. You've got to be using that gadget if you have it. And also Gas Heal just allows you to stay alive so, so uh, well, especially if you're just spamming the super button. A lot of times you're going to be healing for so much but in terms of actual build altogether with Stu, his other star power is actually fairly decent as well so if you haven't got gaza heal the zero drag star power is actually decent as well and also the speed uh turret uh as well for uh Stu is really good so like literally everything about Stu is really good okay so now moving on to el primo i feel like for el primo you can't really be wrong with what build you use it kind of depends on your personal preference so both star powers and gadgets both have their uses so in terms of star powers i would say for the majority of the part i will use meteor rush but there's a lot of pro players that also use el fuego as well they both serve different purposes so for meteor rush uh, you probably charge your super back a lot easier because you get that additional speed once you use your super el fuego helps you uh confirm the kill a lot easier as well so uh, you've got to bear that in mind with both star powers uh, both gadgets can be good so if you pair like a b for example with asteroid belt you're going to br be breaking open the map it's going to be really good uh, so that gadget can be good as well suplex supplement is really good for cancer and enemy supers uh, for example just like a frank you can just throw him cancel his super it's really good there so yeah both star powers and gadgets are good for me i would uh, often use meter rush and the suplex gadget so next up we have barley again another difficult choice you're going to be having in terms of builds with barley i feel like this changes like every single game uh, in terms of which build is the better one uh, for me for the majority of the part you will be using the extra nauseous star power especially in game modes like siege it's just so much damage with a barley you just can't ignore it a lot of interactions change with this star power it's very very strong and uh, medical use can be good especially in those barley versus barley interactions because if you've got heal you can pressure the enemy barley back a lot easier in terms of gadgets as well it's kind of uh it depends on what you really need for your compositions so a lot of times we'll use herbal tonic when we want to get that first bolt in siege healing up the whole team you're going to be winning those engagements so much easier but sticky syrup is going to be really good against those tank options so if you're afraid of coming up against tanks you know like the El primos like the bulls like the bb's that sticky syrup just helps you uh, defend against them so much easier and also defend in a siege bot so it kind of depends how you want to play with barley okay so next up we have poco i don't think there's any debate with his best build here so tuning fork is going to be the better gadget by far allowing you to heal up your teammates it just pairs so well uh, with tanks so poker double tank is the main reason why it's so good is because of this gadget also the star power the capo screeching solo used to actually be good when poco only took four hits to get his super that got reverted and the capo is going to be by far the better star power so next up we have rosa i feel like the best build for her never really gets changed so in terms of star powers i feel like plant life is the best star power it just allows you to heal up that little bit extra 200 uh, per second doesn't seem like a lot but especially if you're going on the aggro and rosa you only tend to use on the bushier maps so it just pairs really well with her in terms of gadgets i would say that 95 percent of the time again you're going to be using the new gadget the unfriendly bushes it just slows the enemies it makes it so easy for rosa to catch up to them and it just pairs really well with brawlers like max uh, it pairs really well with your super as well so that's probably going to be the better gadget there are some cases where you can use the other gadget though uh, to create bushes and connect them so these are going to be maps like harder at mine for, but for the most part you want to be using those unfriendly bushes okay so next up we have rico in terms of gadgets it's a really easy option his new gadget 
uh, literally makes Rico a top five brother bouncy castle. It makes you heal up and it makes you win so many different engagements. So definitely be using that gadget. I've already spoke about that quite a lot in a lot of different videos. So you guys should know how OP this gadget is. In terms of star power, it can come down to personal preference. I'll say that 95% again of pros are going to be using a super bouncy star power. I just feel like it pairs a lot better with his new gadget because it kind of contradicts uh, the other star power, Robo Retreat, if you're using the new gadget because Robo Retreat, you want to be staying low HP, you want to be staying speedy, uh, but with this gadget, you want to be making like really aggro plays, you want to be healing for a lot and getting into the enemy's faces, so Super Bouncy is going to be really good confirming those kills. So for me, Super Bouncy and Bouncy Castle uh, is going to be the best gadget for Rico by far. So next up, we have Daryl. There's no debate which is the best star power for him. Still Hoops is going to be by far the better star power. In terms of gadgets, it can come down to your pre uh, personal preference. I use Rico in rotator because i feel like i don't get my super too often with daryl it's not really the best right now so his super is going to be the best thing about him so i just want his super as much as possible but his, his other gadget is actually really good as well it helps you slow down the enemies get closer to them and deal as much damage as possible uh, so for gadgets i just feel like it depends on your playstyle. okay so now i'm moving on to penny her build hasn't really changed at all since last time so the best star power for her is going to be balls of fire this star power just pairs so much better uh, with her turret uh, obviously the best thing about Penny is her turret and you want to be uh, zoning out the enemies as much as possible so the balls of fire obviously stays on the ground and just helps you uh, zone out the enemies a lot better so that's going to be better there in terms of gadgets I feel like the captain's compass just pairs so much better with the turret as well the other gadget destroys your turret and the thing that you worked hard for all game Penny turrets can sometimes take so long to get especially in competitive so you want to obviously remove that. Captain's Compass can really help against those aggro brawlers as well. So that's going to be the best build for Penny. So up next is Carl. Again, a really easy build. I don't think this has changed at all from last time as well. So of course, his best gadget is going to be a flying hook. One of the best gadgets in the game. Allows you to collect first bolt in the siege and just maneuver around the map a lot easier. Especially uh, targeting those throw brawlers. You want to be using the gadget onto those and destroying them. Uh, also, star power, power throw is by far the better option for me. It just allows you to attack a lot quicker and you're just going to be dealing damage a lot better. Better. so protective pirate is going to pair well with uh com compositions with a healer in other than that always use power throw okay so next up we have a jackie so jackie only has one gadget which is actually really good it allows you to close the gap uh, towards the enemies in terms of star powers hardy hard hat used to be uh, the better star power beforehand but after the nerf i don't feel like that actually offers much value counter crusher probably going to be the better star power for me and especially against those aggro brothers it's going to really hold counter so like the buzzes the mortises you know you can't really go onto a counter crusher jackie because she's going to absolutely destroy you so that's going to be the best build for her okay so next up we have piper so in terms of the gadgets i think by far the best uh, gadget for her is going to be homemade recipe a lot of the times what you can easily do is snipe especially like a low hp brawler finish up with a gadget and you're going to be confirmed to kill so easily it's just an easy two tap for me it's one of the best gadgets inside of the game in terms of star powers a lot of it can uh, come down to the map and the personal preference i would say uh, for me personally 95 percent of the time even on a bushy map i'll be using snappy sniping i feel like a lot of times i can go a lot more aggro and uh, just get confirmed kills a lot easier but ambush is definitely a really good star power as well especially on those bushing maps and if you pair well with like a rough star power as well you're going to be dealing so much damage it's going to pair really well there so uh, yeah for me it all kind of depends on what your play style is snappy sniping can be really good against those aggro brawlers as well so that's why i often tend to choose that star power so next up we have pam so in regards to our new gadget i feel like it's going to be the better one not too much a chance to really try it out that often but i think for me it's going to have really good value especially against those uh, longer range brawlers that have a slow reload speed i think it's going to be really punishing especially against aggro brawlers as well like the mortises and uh the balls and whatever else you know if they're really aggro on you you can pop that gadget and just remove all of their ammo i feel like this can be a really strong gadget so definitely uh, try this one out if you've got it in terms of star powers again i don't think it's changing from last time mama squeeze is gonna be so much better a lot of times you can just go aggro with a turret confirm the kill with the 800 damage it does it just pairs really well with pam okay so now moving on to frank i feel like the better star power for him is going to be sponge i was using power grab a little bit uh, and months ago with frank but i feel like that extra hp is just so so good it just allows you to get so much pressure with him especially if you pair well 
with a Poco or like a Byron. In terms of gadgets as well, noise cancellation is going to be just so much better, especially because Frank's can get uh, Frank Super can get interrupted by so many different things inside of a game, and the gadget basically allows you to get your super off against basically everything inside of the game. So that's going to be the best uh, build for Frank. Okay, so now moving on to BB. She only has one gadget, but I think it's one of the best gadgets in the game. I really love this one. It allows you to heal up whilst taking damage as well. Really underrated uh, part about BB. In terms of star powers, again, this will depend on how you want to play BB. So, Baton Stance pairs incredibly well with like a Poco or a Byron. She's going to be staying alive for so long because you've got the healing on top of her gadget as well. It just pairs for such a good synergy. It allows you also to just uh, press up the lane a lot easier. But Home Run's going to pair really well uh, with uh, her inside of Siege because it just allows her to collect bolts so much easier and you can also just dodge and maneuver around the map. You can counter throws really well with his star power. Uh, so for me, it just uh, depends on the mode and the composition you use with BB. Okay, so now moving on to B, I think this build is really plain and simple. So Insta B load is going to be by far the better star power. If you miss one free K shot, you get another one. You know the deal with that. You're just going to have so much more pressure with B with a star power. In terms of gadgets as well, Rattled Hive is probably the worst, well, one of the worst gadgets inside of a game. I get like zero value with this gadget. Every single pro uses Honey Molasses uh, uh, Honey Pot. Basically allows you to tank like uh, other enemy uh, brawler's shots so like a piper or like a gene pool you can use this as a bit of a safeguard you can pop it behind a wall as well and slow the enemy for a long time so that's going to be the best uh, build for b so now moving on to nanny i feel like this build has changed a lot ever since the nanny nerf so i think in bounty the only build you can really use is the auto focus star power allowing you to get that additional damage with a super and also re return to send a gadget that's incredibly strong especially against those single shot brawlers like the pipers like the enemy nannies as well it's going to be keeping you alive for those engagements but every other mode where nanny is meta in so for example like nanny's really good in heist right now and also fairly decent in brawl so you're going to be using the tempered steel star power because you're not really going to be looking to hit the enemies too often with that super you want to be using that super to maneuver around the map especially in heist and you want to be using that tp gadget as well a lot of the time especially in maps like kaboom canyon you want to be getting your super and just using your uh, nanny head uh, to go into enemy spawn uh, tp in and just dealing a lot of damage to the save so that's going to be the best build in every single game mode except for bounty okay next up we have ego so i feel like ego's build has changed a little bit so uh ego's new gadget is actually going to be really good with paired well with tanks you don't want to be burning those gadgets off the get-go you're going to be saving the gadget for every single time you jump in with uh ego honestly pretty underrated gadget for me uh but in terms of every other mode and if you've not got like a poco or a healer in your composition you want to be using let's fly it gives you a free super uh, you know the story of that one uh, Ego just absolutely sucks about a super, so that gadget is going to be really, really crucial. In terms of star powers, I feel like both are really good. Both have their ups and downs, so uh, I tend to use fisticuffs a lot more just because it allows you to recharge your super a lot better. You know, sometimes you can't actually confirm the kill without that hard landing star power, uh, but for me, the main reason uh, Ego isn't good is because it takes so long to get that super. So for me, the best build would probably be fisticuffs and the Let's Fly gadget. So now moving on to Mortis, in terms of star powers, Cord Snake is going to be by far the better option you guys probably know by now in terms of gadgets as well it can just depend on your personal pr uh, play style so for me i use survival shovel i'm just used to using uh, that gadget just those extra dashes it helps build your super up that little bit better but combo spinner is definitely used by a lot of other pro monsters as well it allows you to confirm a kill probably a lot easier than survival shovel just instant 1.3k damage can be really good in those clutch situations so uh, for me it depends on uh, whatever gadget you want to use but star power definitely called snake okay guys so now moving on to tara in terms of gadgets it's an easy choice uh, support from beyond is going to be the better gadget for her it essentially allows you to waste the enemy ammo really easily and can just cause so much pressure in your lane if played correctly. There's obviously a few brawlers that can just shoot through all of the, uh, all of the pets, uh, but in terms of most lanes, they're single shot, and a lot of times, again, it can, you can just literally win your lane from that gadget. So in terms of star power, it's going to be personal preference. For me, I'll always use healing shade. I just like uh, it when, especially when the healing shade stays alive for a long time, you can get so much value out of it. It can just heal you up your teammates for so long and yourself as well. But the damage pack can be really good as well. It wastes a couple of pieces of ammo and can be really good against those thrower brawlers. Okay, so now moving on to Gene. I feel like there's no debate uh, which is the best build for him. Every single map and mode, you want to be using this one 
around. So the best star power is going to be Magic Puffs. It's one of the best star powers in the game. It synergizes so well with your teammates. You can heal up your teammates whilst they take damage as well. It's such an OP thing about him. In terms of gadgets as well, Lamp Blowout is going to be by far the better one. His other gadget is like the worst gadget inside of the game. So this is such an easy choice when picking your build. So now moving on to Max. I feel like there's only one choice in terms of gadgets. Her other gadget is just really bad. Phase Shifter, one of the best gadgets in the game. Just allows you to be so aggro and just tank like whatever you can so like an enemy piper shot like a nanny peep it can be really clutch uh, in those situations in terms of star powers supercharge got a huge nerf with the last set of balance changes i feel like it's a 50 50 choice which star power you want to use i tend to use supercharge a lot more just because you get your super passively but runner gun can also be a good option as well uh, so yeah that's going to be the best builds for max okay so next up we have mr p mr p not really in the meta whatsoever at the moment terms of star powers again it can depend on what map you play him on but for the most part you're going to play, play mr p on those open maps so handle with care is going to be the better star power his other star power can be really good at wasting enemy ammo and especially on a map with a lot of walls you can probably find more value without star power in terms of gadgets i feel like you can only use one gadget that's the service bell one uh, so you're going to be getting a beefed up porter so if the porter it's starting to get a little bit low HP. You pop that gadget and it's going to be dealing more damage and it's going to be uh, taking a lot more ammo away from their enemies. So that's going to be uh, the best build for Mr. P. Okay, so now moving on to Sprout. I feel like this one is a bit of a harder one to explain it when to use the best build. But if you watch a lot of competitive and uh, obviously look at what builds I tend to use on enemy Sprout, well, other Sprouts as well, you'd probably understand. But in short terms, I feel like uh, you use Transplant uh the other gadget when you're playing a game mode like siege because a lot of times you can flawlessly defend with this gadget uh, especially on maps like nuts and bolts you can place a wall one side the bolt will go over to the other side use a transplant use another wall you know what i'm talking about uh in regards to that one also transplant can just be really good at blocking off certain choke points uh, so for example again like backyard bowl a lot of times you can just get one wall just place your wall down a certain lane and just allow it for only the enemy team to go down like two choke points so that's when i feel transplants the better gadget uh, when there's a map where you can really force your enemies to go down an uncomfortable position that's when i use that gadget and also uh star powers i'll only use the overgrowth star power if it's like a long range map again so like backyard ball uh, you can use uh, that star power there because it's going to be a lot more defensive and a lot harder to hit shots so overgrowth helps you to hit those shots but everywhere else you want to be using the photosynthesis star power it basically makes uh sprout a mini tank and use the golden uh, garden mulcher gadget in combination with that keeping you alive uh, it's just a really good combo okay so next up we have byron i feel like this is an easy build to understand so he only has one gadget it's actually a really good gadget because uh, it allows you uh, to heal up passively definitely a good thing to have in terms of star powers i feel like injection is by far the better star power i feel like the other star power could have its usage but in reality i don't really see too much value out of it because again you've got to actually hit the enemy with your super it's very rare you actually use your super just to randomly hit them you want to use your super uh either on your teammates when they're low hp or when the enemy is like below 2.1k hp you use that super a lot to actually confirm the kill so i don't really see value out of the other star power i definitely use injection okay so next up we have squeak i feel like both of squeak's star powers are really underwhelming but for me i've recently made the change in uh star power so i used to use chain reaction but uh, then I realized that not a lot of people actually stand next to each other, especially when they're stuck as well. They do run away from each other because they don't want to be harming their uh, teammates. So I don't really use that stop power anymore. I use super sticky because a lot of times uh, with squeak, it's, it's quite rare I actually hit someone with squeak's uh, super. But, you know, if you actually manage to hit them once, they get slowed down. It's going to be really easy for you to confirm the kill. And especially against the robot as well, you can use super on the robot and slow it down. So that's probably going to be the best build for squeak. Okay, so next up we have spike. So in terms of gadgets, a new spike gadget has been released and it's by far the better gadget for him so this gadget has actually made him better again uh, so basically the way you want to be using this is basically using it as like a meat shield you want to be playing around that gadget uh, make sure you're next to it when it actually gets destroyed because you get that extra 1k healing and also your teammates do as well so that's going to be the better gadget for spike in terms of star power it really does depend on the map that you play on curveball is going to be better about 75 percent of the uh, time i would say 
But fertilizer can be really good, especially on those close range maps. So like Super Stadium, you're going to be using fertilizer. Just make sure you're destroying the tanks, uh, getting that value out of that super. Uh, so yeah, those are going to be the best builds for Spike. Okay, so now moving on to Crow. For the gadget, it's a really easy one. Slowing Toxin is going to be probably the best gadget inside of a game. It is so, so good. It slows the enemy for five seconds. You're going to be using this every single time with Crow. In terms of star powers, I honestly think that these ones are dead 50-50. I feel like it's a big split in the community for which star power people use. Extra Toxic can be really good because obviously when you hit an enemy, we're only going to be doing like 75% of the damage they can actually deal, uh, which is obviously really good in the long term. But Carrying Crow can be really good, especially if you pair well with your jump. If the enemy's below, like I think it's like half HP, you can actually deal a lot of damage to them. So uh, for me, it just depends on what you like. Both star powers are equally as good as each other. Okay, so next up we have Leon with the introduction of his new new gadget is going to be by far the better gadget to use it's actually one of the best gadgets in the game it pairs really well with your mid and just allows leon to get his super a lot easier so definitely use this gadget if you've got it available he is okay in the meta right now in 3v3 in terms of star powers again i honestly thought invisible hill was by far the better star power star power for him but the way he's actually played especially in maps like parallel plays uh, you actually get more value out of smoke trail star power because a lot of times you just want to be getting up the map as quickly as possible getting onto the enemy zone and taking out those squishier brawlers so it kind of depends on play style i would say about 80 percent of the time i'm gonna be using invisible hill because uh, you can cycle supers a lot easier stay alive and be aggro uh, with uh, that super but smoke trails definitely has its usage usage if you play it correctly so now moving on to sandy again another gadget getting introduced and just completely shifting up the meta sweet dream is going to be one of the best gadgets in the game make sure to use this at its full potential don't shoot the enemy straight away a lot of times you just want to be uh, stunning them waiting the full 1.5 seconds uh, preserving your ammo allowing your teammates to also try and get the kill with you this gadget is absolutely insane in terms of star powers i still think use rude stand sands you just obviously gotta be careful with this gadget because rude sands does interrupt it uh, but in general rude sands is just better at scouting the grass and pushing the enemy team back the only time you want to be using the other star power is when you're using like a tanky combo so you can get the full potential out of the heals so next up we have amber a really easy build for this one she only has one gadget one of the better gadgets in the game in terms of star powers again i would say every single time use the wild flame star power a lot of times what you can do you can just pop your gadget just stay behind a wall build up your super and just go super aggro once you've got your super a lot of times you can easily just uh, literally hit your opponent for a lick, like a split second and then super them catch them on fire and you're going to be confirming the kill a lot of the time so this is going to be the best build for amber so now moving on to gale i feel like the gadget choice is a really easy option twister has just been released it's not really meta breaking but definitely a better gadget than the other one it really helps to counter those tanky brawlers and also block choke points also can be really good in siege as well so that's going to be the better gadget in terms of star power it depends on what map you play on so freezing snow is actually a really strong star power right now it slows the enemies every time you hit them for 0.5 seconds it just allows you to confirm kills so much easier but blusty bro can also be really good especially on those closed maps like split for example you want to be countering tanks a lot so that super can push them against the wall allows you to take them down really easily okay so now moving on to surge another easy build for this one so he's only really got one gadget one of the strongest gadgets in the game it basically makes surge who he is i don't know if you can even get a stronger uh, gadget than this one is absolutely insane in terms of star power serve ice cold is going to be by far the better star power everyone uses a star power uh, so yeah there's only one build for surge really easy to understand okay guys so now jumping into the next one we have colette so again a really easy one don't think it's changed since last time as well so in terms of uh, star powers you want to be using the mass attack star power when playing game modes like heist because you can get that extra shield when you're super onto the heist safe you want to be using that star power every single time every other game mode use the push it star power it allows you to counter tanks that much better so those are going to be the best builds for club okay so next up we have lou i feel like there's only one build you can really use with this brawler as well so super cool it's going to be by far the best star power his other star power is probably the worst one inside of a game so always make sure you're using super cool it just allows you to change your supers much better also his new gadget pairs so well with his star power as well you can basically get an easy stun an easy kill with this gadget cyrus syrup is definitely going to be the better one that's going to be the best build for lou okay so now moving on to russ again it depends on your team composition for this one but if you're using a field promotion star power it can be a really strong one if you're playing a passive play style so the good example i can think of this one is a map uh, called dry season uh, basically the way it's played in competitive is that you have like a gene 
and like a thrower uh, by, besides you as well. You want to get that blue star or the lead and sit behind the walls and just get your HP, right? It's going to be so hard for the enemy team to kill you if you're constantly getting HP. You know, a lot of times I can see like a 6k HP uh, tick by the end of the game. That is quite scary. Not many people can actually take down that brawler when they've got that much HP. So, of course, with the passive playstyle, this star power is going to be really strong. Uh, in other game modes and other compositions, the other star power is going to be a little bit uh, strong as well. Breaking open the map, basically combine this with a long range brawlers. So like beads, the pipers, if you break open the map uh, without star power, it can be really good. Uh, in terms of gadgets, there's only one gadget you want to be using. The sandbags, probably the best gadget inside of the game. The other one's just completely trash. You always want to use the sandbags. Okay, so now moving on to Belle. She's only got one gadget, really strong gadget, but in terms of star powers, the uh, grounded star power is absolutely trash. You always want to be using a positive feedback star power. I feel like without the star power, honestly, Bell would slip quite a far bit uh, down the meta because it gives you a 25% extra shield. This allows you to be a lot more aggro. It's actually incredibly underrated and probably a reason why she's actually meta. So that's going to be the best build for Bell. Okay, guys, so jumping into the best build for Buzz. This one actually is a hard one. It's gadgets really, really strong. So in terms of star powers, honestly, I can't see switch between on both. Ice Shop can be really really good because you're going to be get, gaining your super a lot faster but the problem is with ice shop especially on maps that buzz is played with a lot on like the close range stun just isn't enough you only get 0.5 seconds worth of stun you're not going to be able to confirm the kill a lot of the time so the, uh, the tor tougher torpedo actually allows you to get that extra 0.5 seconds stun that might not seem like a lot but honestly it is and especially on those maps you know like nuts and bolts you're going to be gaining your super quickly anyway so uh, for me i'm constantly switching these star powers i think both of them both have their advantages and disadvantages okay guys so lastly griff he doesn't have uh, two gadgets or two star powers so you can only use one of those but it's a gadget that is actually pretty good at destroying open the map definitely an underrated gadget for sure his star power allows you to shoot basically faster as well so yeah that's going to be the best uh build for griff all right guys that's going to be it for today's video hope you enjoyed this one this took me such a long time to make so i appreciate all of your guys is support on this one whether it's be a like whether it's just watching the video whether it's commenting down below what you think of the list uh, i really appreciate all your guys' support recently so yeah that's going to be it for today's video let me know what other guides you want to see in the future in the comment section below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time